Hey guys, Snappy Fishies here, and I just, literally, just finished this sketchbook. It's like 1, 2 in the morning, so, uh, yeah, well, let's just get right into this. Um, on the front is my name. This is a drawing of Mike Durnt that I did. Um, that is from my workplace, and there's a sticker of Newt. Uh, so the inside, that's another sticker from work, and that's, um, <sighs> I'm so tired. Dudley and Aunt Petunia, yeah. Okay, let's get into the actual art, I guess. Um, here is a watercolor of Flea from Red Hot Chili Peppers. Here's just a doodle of Matt Skiba. Um, random charcoal pencil doodle that ruined these doodles of, uh, Tom DeLong. <laughs> um... The whole page of Tom. I'm sorry also if the lighting is shitty. I'll try to work past that. <laughs> so a whole page of Tom DeLong. Um, some watercolor of Tom and a watercolor of a uh, Mark. <laughs> Shit. Um, did I skip a page? No, I'm good. Here is a kind of really bad watercolor of Billy based off of um, Forever Now. This is my first ever just straight sharpie doodle and you can tell it's bad <laughs> um so it's of billy this is a straight pen doodle of tom going through this is so weird because i held this sketchbook for like two and a half months and my style changed so much <laughs> it's weird so there's tom with a choking hazard shirt um there's a really shitty watercolor of mike there's a drawing of trey that doesn't look like trey this is when I got into Dear Evan Hansen, so there's an Evan, there's an Evan, there's a Connor, there's a T Jeremy, Jacob, Jason, starts with a J. <laughs> um, it's a Evan's friend, I guess. Here's a watercolor of Evan that I really liked. That's the, near the ending of the musical, that's the dance sequence of a Sincerely Me, and that's just a Random pose of Evan. There, uh, here's a sketch of Adam and Connor. Here's a whole page of Eminem, because I listened to Eminem that day, I guess. Another thing of Evan, little thing of Connor that you can't really see. Let's, let's see if I can try to get that, because it's kind of cute. Yeah. And then, uh, Evan's friend again, that I forget his name and I feel bad because he's one of my favorite characters. <laughs> Um, here's a little watercolor of St. Jimmy, my character Ethan that I haven't drawn in like 17 years. There's more Ethan. This is another one of my characters, uh, Charlie or Xavier. I never picked a name for him. It's either Charlie or Xavier. And then here's a weird, um, color study of Billy. And when I say Billy, I mean Billy Joe Armstrong from, uh, Green Day. <laughs> um... Again, that's uh, Evan's friend, uh, Billy Joe Armstrong. This was supposed to be Fat Mike, but it his skin is way too light. <laughs> um, and then a uh, little doodle of Mike Durnt, again, from Green Day. Um, whole page of little Mike doodles. These are doodles from work. <laughs> this, I saw um, a picture of an old dude wearing eight dead yet motherfuckers in that hat and I was like wow I love this still breathing musical musical <laughs> music video here's a painting of Newt that I did on um notebook paper here I was supposed to uh, I was planning on drawing all three guys but I didn't save enough room for Trey Cool so it's just Mike and uh Billy there's a doodle of Billy there's a doodle of Mike there's a doodle of Trey. That's a doodle of Lawrence Sontag from Funhouse, but it looks nothing like him. And that's a doodle of Billy from the Pinhead Gunpowder era. <laughs> doodle of James Willems. Doodle of Gavin. The little doodle of Ray. And um, a doodle of uh, James in the Psychonauts guys. Uh, little get up. There is um, uh, James the Ripper from Sex Wing. Another little thing of James Willems. I think I based this off of um, a Homeless Gospel Choir album cover. Here I was testing out which uh, 
inks I had that were waterproof and turns out none of them are, <laughs> except for my Sharpies. And a little uh, thing of Billy. Here is uh, Dan from Real Friends and then uh, also a little Dicky. these are both watercolors. And here I always think I was getting more comfortable in how I liked to shade with watercolors. As I do love a mouth. I was feeling real shitty with my art. There's Doodle of Mike. Um, there's a watercolor painting of Billy. Here's a little doodle from work of Stephen Suptic from Sugar Pine 7. Here is, um, uh, I forget his name. It's like Matt or something from Swimmers. He shaved off his head, so I did that. He shaved off his head. Shaved off his hair. And that says Buzzed Beauty. Here's a little uh, painting of Pink Guy. Here's a watercolor painting of Jeff Ramsey, a watercolor painting of Amethyst, a Strictly Pen Doodle of Toki from Metalocalypse, and this is my um, OC Arthur. He is a, a drag queen. Uh, her drag persona is a Centaria Mary, and I like designing stuff for her. This is um, Homer from the OA, which is a Netflix original show, and here's a... Uh, Painting of Raven, one of my favorite drag queens. Here I was trying to draw Trixie from memory and it didn't really turn out that well. My uh, hatred for blue pens. Here I was testing out some really cheap acrylics so I drew a little, um, probably like Dookie or Insomniac or a Billy. Here I was watching um, Gavin and Michael, the playthrough of Outlast. So them screaming and then just a little Michael. And then a random, kind of messy, uh, Mike Dirt Doodle. These were random studies of, um, long ex exposure. Hold on. <laughs> let me, let me, let me grab my boys. I, uh, I bought all three chapters. I love this webcomic. I love the art. I love the artist. Um, if you haven't read it, it's on Tapastic. Go check it out. It's freaking bomb.com the art is amazing the story is amazing it's just it's so good check it out <laughs> um so uh, yeah that's little studies because i like the art style but i'm not gonna heavily reference because that's that's a shitty thing to do <laughs> um here's a little uh thing from based on dirty rotten bastards from uh the trey album of the trilogy here's a little doodle mike here I was people sketching at a cafe. Here's a uh, Marius, the um, uh, movie version from Les Mis, uh, played by Eddie Redmayne, cause uh, my, my boy. I'm a random lady doodle, and then I'm a uh, my <laughs> band director's man crush is N. Marius from the 25th anniversary uh, DVD, and it uh, made me laugh cause he admitted it in front of the entire band. It was a uh, great. Sorry, also, there's gonna be vomit and, uh, nudity. I forgot to say that. And blood. You've already seen a lot of blood. If you don't like that, I apologize. But here's a doodle of Billy. Here's a drawing of, um, one of my favorite drag queens. Yeah, <laughs> I'm so tired. Uh, Glass Stain. She is on Instagram and, oh, she's so good. She's so pretty. Um, this is when I started listening to The Adventure Zone, which is a podcast by the McElroy Brothers. McElroy? McElroy Brothers. If you haven't listened to it, it's freaking amazing. And if you haven't listened to um, their other podcasts like My Brother and Brother and Me, uh, Bunker Buddies, and Sawbones, and I think Griffin has a new one called Nerd Inc. I think that's what it's called. But their podcasts are freaking amazing. So um, there's Magnus. There's another Magnus, there's Taco. This was when I was trying to figure out how I wanted to design them. Magnus and Taco look nothing like this in my uh, new designs of them. Here's some hot anime dads, as in Trey Cool and Billy Joe Armstrong. And uh, here's uh, Billy in some 90s babe fashion. Here's why I got my uh, little package from Jellybee. It was cute. I love her art. Check out Jellybee if you haven't. Um... Here is a little doodle of Dan from Game Grumps. Um, this is Milo a Day, a uh, one of my favorite <laughs> Instagram, just in general drag queens asked me to draw her uh, good Judy, and it's Milo a Day, and she's freaking beautiful. Shout out to Milo a Day and Crystal Ball. <laughs> uh, 
I was watching a lot of, I was watching a really bad horror movie this day, so I did that. Um, this was when I started trying to get more comfortable in just Sharpie and just pen doodles, so you'll see a lot of sticky notes to fix my mistake. So that's just a random dude. And here's, uh, I did a little, um, uh, um, figure study. I only did 45 seconds and a little bit of 60 seconds. And I use this website, I don't know what it's called off the top of my head, but I will list it in the description because I love, love, love this website. It gives you just random stock photos, but it's really fun and easy to use. So, uh, yeah, I don't, I didn't do a lot in this sketchbook. <laughs> here's a little doodle of Mike, and here's a taco. Um, there's some taco, there's some Magnus, there's some Merle, some taco, these are all from the Adventure Zone. I shall ever go fuck you. Um, here's, uh, a little, um, taco and Magnus thing, cause this will never be canon. Um, here's Magnus and some lingerie, and here's a sleepy taco. Here is, um, uh, James, and you can see, uh, I'm like all other artists that I make a lot of mistakes. I'm full of mistakes. I use uh, sticky notes to fix it up because it adds a little bit of kind of a art deco deco. I don't know. It just adds something more, and it covers or covers up my horrible mistakes. <laughs> um, here I was gonna draw all the Jackass guys because I started uh, rewatching all of the Jackass movies that they released on Netflix. They released, I think. 1, 2, and 3.5, I think, but, uh, I only got through, uh, Johnny, Bam, and Steve-O until I gave up. <laughs> um, here's a whole page spread of Johnny Knoxville, cause I, uh, I have a deep love for Johnny Knoxville. <laughs> See, Johnny Knoxville, love of my life. <laughs> um, uh, there's some Bruce Green, there's some James, cause I think I was rewatching a bunch of demo discs or something. Here's a little, um, watercolor of <laughs> Johnny Knoxville. Here I was re-watching, um, what is it? I was, no, I was watching the, re-watching the freelancer arc of, um, RVB, so I was figuring out my headcanons again, but I only did Church and Caboose. Don't know why. Um, here's a little taco, and then here is, a uh, Mike and Vinny from the band Red Vox. Vinny, he's a vi he's <laughs> Vinny Vine Sauce. His music is freaking bomb. If you haven't listened to the Red Vox album, you really need to. There's a little Green Day lineup, and I love my dad's. <laughs> um, here's a little doodle of Johnny Knoxville. This was really late, so none of these look like they're actual uh, muses. This is based off The Descendants, the Milo's Milo Goes to College album. Um, I, w I was listening to a lot of, uh, Misfits, so it was, I don't know, put me into a weird shock horror mood. <laughs> Here was, um, uh, a little thing of, uh, James and Elise, cause there are fireflies outside and I was drawing outside, so I drew, drew my dudes. And we're not, we're not gonna talk about that. Here's a little, uh, thing of a beat up Johnny Knoxville. Here is a doodle of Steven Suptic from one of his vlogs. I think I doodled him. He was talking about Parker. <laughs> um, here's a Jeff from one of the GTA playthroughs with Funhouse when everybody was gay in the 90s. And then I finally uh, got to watch On The Spot Live because I'm a, I pay for a Rooster Teeth First membership and I finally, uh, finally watched a live broadcast of On The Spot. So, uh, there was broadcast room, and then immediately when I got on, they kind of started. Andy was drunk. <laughs> Andy was so drunk. <laughs> so it was uh, Team Driving This Baby and Team Racist Aliens. So there's a duel of Andy. There's Michael being just... He was aggravated the whole time. <laughs> he was, it, was, it was beautiful. So there was a Michael. There was a... I can't draw Shannon, but Shannon and Gus were on a team. I wanted to draw him, but uh, I can't draw Shannon, but I love him. <laughs> Um, that's my first time ever drawing John, and I think I did a pretty good job. It's also my first time drawing Andy, and I think I did a good job. You can see that's my first time drawing Gus. Not a good job. <laughs> but, uh, 
But, uh, yeah. And Teen Racist Aliens won. Um, I went to a coffee shop with one of my friends that day, so I drew my coffee and put some of my actual coffee on there to stain the page. There's a little doodle of Kib from, uh, Sugar Pine 7. There's a doodle of, uh, Griffin McElroy. There's a painting of Taco. I think that's acrylic. There's a doodle of Magnus. <laughs> There's a, a little doodle of, uh, Taco. And this was, um based off uh, Lily Elb, um, Eddie Remain's portrayal of her. I didn't actually get a chance to draw the real uh, Lily Elb, but um, yeah, I watched The Danish Girl and it was an amazing movie. I love that movie. <laughs> Here's a noodle of uh, Taco. I tried to do, I planned out the pose up there and I wanted to try to do perspective and it kind of looks wonky, but I still really like the way it looks. Here's some straight brush pen of Magnus because I'm not that good with brush pen. There's a little doodle of Merle. These are the, these are some color palettes that I, uh, these are <laughs> the Adventure Zone character color palettes that I chose out for him. There's a doodle of, a uh, Trevor from Cow Chop. There's a doodle of, uh, James from Cow Chop. Here's, uh, my design for Angus, cause that boy deserves so much more. <laughs> but, uh, there's my little design of Angus. Here's, um, a doodle of, uh, some of the stunts from episode 15 where Magnus fucking kills himself. And I was pl I was trying to figure out, um, the Bureau of Balance's freaking emblem. It didn't make sense. But, uh, yeah. There's, <laughs> there is a little doodle of Merle. There's a Steven, Magnus's fish. Here is, um, a little sketch of the guys around the void fish. Here's another doodle of Trevor. There's some anime eyes. There's um, some Angus. There's more Kib from Sugar Pine 7. That's a random guy. Yeah, out of my head. Here's um, Johnny Knoxville in a crop top that says sexy. There's just a random lady butt. There's some Magnus being all bloody. That's uh, the Madam Director. These boys are gonna kill this poor woman. I feel so bad for Lucretia. Um, there's some uh, more Angus. This is based off of um, the whole Rev Rad aesthetic. That's the album cover and that's Billy. Um, this is when I got real big into the Slenderverse cause that's still hip and cool. Um, but uh, yeah, I started watching an analysis of Everyman Hybrid, so. That's that. There's a taco. You can't really see that, but that's a Jeff from Everyman Hybrid. And there's some stickers. Here is um Habit and or Evan. I'm gonna just call him Habit from Sugar Pine 7. Sugar Pine 7? <laughs> Everyman Hybrid. Um there is a random doodle. There's some iDubs, iDupis. This is when I was figuring out if I wanted Magnus to have a faux hawk. But, um, yeah, I want him to have a mohawk. That's my headcanon for Magnus. So, yeah, Magnus has a mohawk. And this is when I was watching an analysis of, a uh, Marble Hornets. <laughs> so, there's some doodles of Tim and, uh, some interviews with, uh, Troy Wagner when they were talking about Maskey. And literally, they said his whole character direction was, uh, um, taking orders from Hoodie, like, hey, you should go tackle that with your face. <laughs> and it's, a uh, yeah, it, it totally embodies Tim's character. There's more Habit. There is a little, uh, devil guy, I guess. Probably based off of, um, an AJJ song. And then here I took some Instagram requests because I needed to finish my sketchbook. I was so close. So that's a uh, John Cook from BTS. I don't know anything about him, but he has a bowl cut, so I appreciate him. This is a uh, Anna Addiction. So uh, she's an amazing drag queen. Her she's just gorgeous. This is Kryptonite again. She's an amazing drag queen. She's fucking gorgeous. Someone asked for Brenda Neary, and someone asked for Vic Fuentes. I don't listen to those bands. And someone asked for Eva Destruction, and she's also an amazing drag queen. So yeah. Here is a more Habit, or Evan, depends, no, it's Habit, he's got the shirt. 
I was marking my page for a book I'm reading. Here's uh, Noah Maxwell from Tribe 12. I'm watching an analysis of that. Um, there's a little Tim Doodle. There's a little DM Griffin McElroy Doodle. And all these uh, colored ones, I know there's only, I have, to, I have to find it now. All these colored ones are done at work. There's a little uh, painting of a creepy forest. <laughs> I literally looked up creepy forest on Pinterest just to take up space. Um, here's a doodle of Jay from Marble Hornets. Here is a doodle of uh, Vinny from the latest and most recent update from the Everman Hybrid channel literally six months ago. It makes me upset. Ugh. But uh, yeah, there's a little doodle of Vinny. There's um, Tim's breakdown in the hospital. <laughs> There's a doodle of Noah from uh, Tribe 12 and uh, Milo or uh, Mr. Scars from Tribe 12. This is um, a little uh, thing that integrates um, Marble Hornets and Everyman Hybrid because they're all a part of the same verse. So it's um, a inhabited J and I just thought it was a really cool idea, a really cool design. So yeah, there's an inhabited J. Um, there's just a little page of a uh, masky doodles there's a a big part of a tribe 12 <laughs> there's a habit my dorky uh, my dorky death bringer <laughs> and then uh this was a uh, from a uh, tribe 12's something video starts with an s <laughs> his send off was good luck and fuck off <laughs> so um yeah finished it today 2.5 months uh, the back is just Mod Podge from a magazine, and, uh, yeah, I'm actually really happy because this is the fastest it's ever taken me to complete a sketchbook. I tore out a few pages, but no more than five, so I have about probably 55 pages front to back done in 2.5 months, which is exciting. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs> Bye.